Yes! 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 Okay. Welcome to this special tribute to the man that has just announced his retirement. Yes, I'm talking about Daniel Bryan, the leader of the Yes Movement. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So, we just found out today, they said around like 1 o'clock or something like that, that Daniel Bryan has to officially retire from professional wrestling. Now, <laughs> oh my God. Unbelievable. I know it seems like I'm excited that he's retiring. That's not what this is about. This is a celebration of this man's career. He's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And the impact he has on people is just... I don't know, man. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I've seen a lot of fan favorites in wrestling. Never seen the way people gravitate toward this guy. It's just something about him that people... They just go crazy and they love it and it's just it's just a wonderful thing to see oh my god okay <laughs> i'm actually like pumped up for this this is this is cool man so okay i just finished watching monday night raw um you know you got a few weeks two weeks until fast lane um daniel bryan came out you know i mean it, it was literally for like i'm telling you it was for a good almost five minutes. I mean, it was like Hulk Hogan was out. It was like The Rock came out. You know, the fans just went nuts for him when he came out. And, it, you know, to the point where they didn't even let him say anything yet. You know, it was one of those things. It is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, he, um, he comes out and, you know, he's like, oh, you know, this is like one of the best experiences before he even starts in a speech. And it's just, Oh my god. Okay. So <laughs> he starts doing that. Um starts just basically, you know, thanking everybody that he's met through wrestling. He talked about Kane, um, you know, <laughs> saying how crazy he is, you know, crazy looking he is, but how he's like one of the smartest persons he's ever met. Um smartest one of the smartest people he's ever met. Um He starts talking about William Regal. Um, starts talking about how he met his wife through wrestling. Um, starts talking about, oh man, says how he, you know, his father witnessed his, you know, his father witnessed his, you know, him wrestling, you know, and, you know, so that, that was, that was really heartfelt, uh, his father passed away, but his, um, mother and, and family, I think his sister also was there. For you know, for the speech, so that was that that was good for them to share that, and unbelievable. He he talked about how he's been wrestling ever since he was 18 years old. He said how he wrestled in gas stations. You know, unbelievable, man, unbelievable. And then he said obviously how he wrestled at WrestleMania 30 in front of like 70,000 people. You know, winning the WWE Championship. It's un unbelievable, man. It, this, this was like one of the best moments ever in wrestling. And it's one of those things that will only be, you know, you only announce your timer at once. Um, you know, most people do at least. I mean, he, he, he had, he's injured. He was injured. So, okay. Little background story on this, this whole thing here. Um, he got injured. Daniel Bryan got injured uh, sometime around... Midway of 2014. And, um... He... Yeah, he, he was the WWE Champion then. And he, he had to... He had to get... You know, he had to take a break from wrestling. from For injuries. And what had happened, he came back around... Oh, I'm trying to remember now. I think the end of December into January... Ish, he came back, and he actually went on to. He he wasn't in the main event of WrestleMania 31, but he did, and it, you know obviously by him 
being the champion at the time back in 2014, he had to surrender the title. And, you know, that's never never a good thing to, to want to do. But, you know, then going towards after that, he, um, oh, man. So then he comes back, and then at WrestleMania 31, he wins the Intercontinental Championship. He was never the Intercontinental Champion, so that was good for him to win that. Um, you know, his prestigious title, and, you know, a lot of, lot of great legends have held that title. So it, it was good for him to also hold it. <sighs> oh, man. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pumped up about this. This, this, this. That was cool, man. That was a cool moment. So then after that, he, um, he actually, I think, was, yeah, it was in uh, the end of, you know, the, the um, Extreme Rules uh, 2014. He was supposed to defend the Intercontinental title against Bad News Barrett, and he couldn't do that because he was injured also. And, you know, that was, that's how that went. So they basically, after that, they took him off of all the live events and all that other, you know, all other stuff that he was booked for. So, I think around May something edition of the you know the May you know this past May in uh, 2015, he you know had to surrender the IC title and you know said that he had a, you know more complications and had to go for MRI and stuff like that, and said that he might have to actually retire from professional wrestling. So. I mean, he really haven't heard too much about, you know, what was going on with him up until, you know, basically just recently. And, you know, now we know what is uh, what is going on with that. But, I mean, you know, the guy, he, he puts his body on the line. You know, wrestling is a very, very tough sport. I don't care what anybody says. Predetermined, not predetermined, you know, real, fake, however the fuck you want to say it. Those guys put their bodies on the line, all right. Don't don't. It's no bullshit. It really isn't. So don't even don't even think that. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, he he comes out and and just. Oh man, it it, it was really good. I, I'm really glad that I got to to witness that. Um, it was just a great moment in time, you know that. I don't really think, you know, you got to remember, like, wrestling, it's just like any, it's like any other thing. Like, I always look at certain stars and certain lights, and I think other people, like, I always talk about, you know, The Undertaker or, or other wrestlers that I am, <clears throat> that I just gravitate towards, but <clears throat> everybody's different. Like, I gravitate towards these guys for different reasons. And that's why, you know, everybody really is different, not just in life, but just in, you know, also in wrestling and just in general, like, how, you know, people gravitate toward him, like, he even said, he's like, you know, you guys, for some reason, just started to get behind me, and I was like, you know, I never thought it was possible to, to, to um, you know, for people to get behind me in that way, like, he, he wasn't, like, going out of his way to try to be a good guy, and then people just started to gravitate toward him. And that, to me, is like the most organic feel of, you know, when you could tell that somebody's going to be a real fan favorite. Like, when people just like you just because you're just doing what you're doing. Like, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, you could put Undertaker in that because at one time he was a bad guy. And people, for some reason, they started to, to you know, look at him in a different light and, and started to see how unique he really was. And it's just, you know, like, I don't know... It, it, it was a really great moment to see. I hope, you know, anybody that watches this saw that, you know, edition of Monday Night Raw that just happened almost an hour ago. Saw the last part. You know, he, he came out at like 11-something, so they gave him time. You know, nobody came out and interrupted him, which was really great. Um, you know, I got to give them, you know, their props, their credit or whatever on that. Um, so, so they didn't, you know, they didn't mess with his moment. You know, they're not that fucked up, I guess, at least in that light. But, um... <laughs> Un unbelievable it, it was just a great thing to see uh, I wish him the best uh, I, I don't know man it, it, it's unfortunate you know we, we lost a lot of you know, I'm not saying lost you know obviously they're still you know still alive and like that but you, you know what I mean you know like you know it, competitors you know CM Punk 
Daniel Bryan, you know, those two of the last, like, five to six years, those were, like, two of the biggest stars, you know? Unbelievable, man. I mean, it's just, it's a tough business. It really is a tough business. And people that don't, they, they think otherwise just don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, you know, that's just, that's just how that goes. But, you know, I don't know, man. I hope anybody that did not catch that, you know, that speech, even if you just watch it on YouTube, just make sure you watch it. The entire thing. Please, trust me. If you are a rest, even wrestling fan, even if you're just a casual wrestling fan, excuse the hell out of me. I, I'm just like, Ugh. okay. Even if you're just a casual wrestling fan, please tune in to watch the Daniel Bryan retirement speech. Just do it. It, it, it was it was awesome. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Well, I am going to get the fuck out of here. And I will see you when I see you. Yes!